Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to Breakfast with Bulls, where I'm going to go over the top 10 most popular stocks that I have seen most people talk about in the last week or so. And I wanted to talk about these in particular as they all do have potential run-ups going into the next month or so, in my opinion. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I would play into these. And I do appreciate love you guys been showing me in the comment section as always. Much love to you guys. And if you guys have not subscribed, we do go a lot Monday through Friday on entries and breakouts. So be on the lookout for more of those. And tomorrow we do have our Sunday night countdown as usual on our weekly watch list. So be on the lookout for that as well. Um, much love to you guys as always. God bless you guys. Now let's jump right into this real quick. We're going to go straight into CCIV. Um, they are going to be trying to merge with Lucid Motors. I'm going to go to the four hour here so you guys can see exactly what we're looking at. So um, overall, we look like we are consolidating. They did have a quick rumor the other day uh, when this one did come up and then came back down. Uh, we did talk about how if it did come back down, I would be buying into it. And sure enough, I did. I actually loaded up around this area. Um, I don't expect it to exactly drop down below our previous lows. I do believe we will um, create higher lows and higher highs from here um, if we do get the news that we're looking for. Um, now, we are looking for that merger date on um, Lucid Motors, and I do believe that it will come soon as they did have the rumor the other day that they are potentially going to be closing into this merger vote date soon. So um, in my opinion, that is why I put some money into it. Um, that is not a recommendation. This is what I did. Um, but however, like I said, CCIV, I do like the consolidation here, and I think this one will run up. Um, this one is less of a technical play compared to it is uh, more on the wait on the news type of play. So um, if you believe in this company and you think that it will go at a higher price, um, in my opinion, based on the fact that Lucid Motors is going to be competing with Tesla, and they actually have cheaper cars than Tesla, in my opinion, they will be able to compete well enough at that point, even alone. So CCIV, I do like Lucid Motors, amazing company, the second best after Tesla, hands down for sure, in my opinion. Now, PLTR, um, a lot of people have been talking about PLTR as well. You know, we have been waiting for that spike that everybody has been talking about for quite a while. Um, now, we do have our bull flag that we did draw here um, from previously when we did break out, and we did trade this um, way back about a month or a month and a half ago or so um, when it did break out. But however, um, we did sell off. It looks like we are bouncing off of our trend line here. Again, this is our bull flag. We did extend this line here, and you can see we are bouncing off of our um, the top of our bull flag here. So you can see that we are staying consistent. We're going to wait to see if this did break out of our descending wedge or if this was going to sell off. And sure enough, it looks like it is starting to break out of it. Um, we are going to need to get um, an increase in volume. And if we get confirmation on this volume, in my opinion, this would be a nice swing trade. Um, we want this confirmation at least above our previous volume point here. Um, if we could get above this, and obviously, essentially, we want to get above our previous volume point that we saw when we were around $29. So um, we want to see both of these breakouts happen. Um, this would be our indicator um, to possibly look at this stock. And then we would see our confirmation above our previous volume point here. So Essentially, we want to break above our previous volume point. And if we do get that confirmation, again, I do believe this stock will have a nice run. Um, so essentially, we could possibly see another sell off here, um, just a little bit here, just on the MACD, and then possibly turn around and give us a nice run. Now, that is what we would be hoping for on PLTR, and that's what I will be looking out for. But however, I do like PLTR as a company. At some point in time, I will definitely be trading this when that volume confirmation does come in. Now, <clears throat> FB, FUBO. Um, this one did have a nice spike on Thursday after hours, and a lot of people were wondering if this was going to turn around, if this is a reversal, if this is a double bottom, what exactly are we looking at here, right? Um, we did have this nice volume spike, and I will say, um, you, as you can see on the 4-hour, we have not seen a volume spike like this in a while, so this is not a bad entry. Um, definitely, you would have your stop loss around $20. If it did drop below $20, then you definitely probably would want to stop out, as um, there is a lot to look down below for, so... Um, your next uh, stop would probably be around $15 where we did previously break out. Um, so definitely you have that $20 stop loss in my opinion. But however, I do like the entry here as we do have that confirmation of volume that we were looking for on PLTR. Um, so you can see we did break above it. So essentially, we could see a nice run up on FUBO going into the next week and the next month if the market does hold up. But however, the market has been um, ruining a lot of uh, charts recently. So um, so you definitely want to look out for the market and see if it is selling off because if it does, just like anything else, it will continue to sell off and investors will lose confidence and take profits, therefore driving the price down. So watching the market for any of these trades is very important. Even myself with CCIV playing into it, I have to consider how bad the market could possibly get. And if there's no news that I have to make sure I do reevaluate my play. So then that's why I didn't add too much. So that way I can keep adding, even if it does dip on CCIV. Um, but again, that is because I do believe in CCIV. I do believe that it will be over $100 um, in the next year or two for sure, in my opinion, if they do merge with Lucid Motors. Now, SNDL um, is the cannabis sector. I know a lot of us were wondering 
um, if SNDL is going to be overpriced or underpriced at this point because we are sitting around a dollar. Um, a dollar is a very key resistance for these stocks. So essentially, you could join in at one dollar and have a tight stop loss at 90 cents, but that's not exactly my type of move. I like to make sure we do get momentum on this one. So uh, we are going to wait for volume confirmation as well. You can see that we actually are not only um, getting more sell volume, but we also are decreasing in, in volume overall. So that is not very bullish. Um, we do have the cannabis sector as a potential run-up going into the New York um, news as they are trying to pass cannabis in New York and it should be happening soon, hopefully. At least a lot of people are, are expecting it to. So um, SNDL could be a nice play. We will have this on watch. Um, if it does break above our volume point, of course, I'll be posting a video on it as soon as possible. But however, um, we are gonna wait for this one to break out and give us that confirmation. Um, with, uh, so we are, do have our Fibonacci line set here. Um, you can see we are bouncing off of our bottom Fibonacci line here. Um, that is where we previously were on our lows here around 90 cents. So we are going to see if we could hold over 90 cents essentially and break out. And we would have a very bullish move if we did break above the 158 mark on our Fibonacci line. So the next play we want to look at is N NDM. Now NNDM had a nice little spike after hours uh, yesterday, actually. Um, we have our four hour here. Um, we have very uh, many volume spikes, but we have very little volume that has been coming in recently. So um, in my opinion, I like NNDM as a company and I will be trading this and I will definitely post a video when I do. But however, um, we do look like we are on a sell off and looks like we are having a decrease in volume recently. Um, we do have a squeeze here that we saw and it looks like the bears are favoring at this point. Um, if we do for some reason have a, a squeeze again soon and then we do see a confirmation on the uptrend with the volume um, confirming as well, then we could potentially see um, a nice run up on NNDM. And I definitely will post a video as soon as possible if that does happen. Now, for now, I would definitely be holding off on NNDM. But however, um, I do know a lot of people that are holding NNDM as a long play. So I actually don't blame them for that because I actually like the company as well. I just personally like to buy on confirmation and make sure we play safer plays, in my opinion. Um, letting the play come to you is is one of the most profitable things I think traders can do other than joining into a stock that actually is running up. Um, so obviously buying at a very nice price is always um, actually profitable in itself. So CTRM, um, we do see that it has been on a sell-off. We actually have an increase in sell volume recently. Um, I do believe that we do have quite the dip to come. Um, unfortunately, I do like CTRM as a nice possible bounce play maybe on a day trade. Now, what I mean by that is on the five minute, you can see that we did have a huge sell-off um, and then we are consolidating here. So essentially you could trade this on nice little day trades and, and stuff, but after uh, overall on the four hour, you can see that uh, we are looking pretty bearish. So it's not exactly my cup of tea to be day trading in my opinion. I like to have uh, at least companies a little stronger than this to be day trading unless you're um, an expert at day trading, you're gonna sit there and actually make those type of day trades. That's different. But however, I like to buy on momentum. I like to play on confirmation. That's how I like to play. So CTRM, in my opinion, I'm going to wait off on, but I do like CTRM as a company and I definitely will consider it if it does um, give us more confirmation. Now, BNGO, um, very similar play to CTRM, not as similar, obviously, because it's not on as bad of a sell-off. Um, I actually like the sell-off it's on recently, but I do believe that we are probably going to reach um, another breakout point that we have seen previously. Unfortunately, it looks like we do have very little volume coming in unless they do get news, of course. But overall, it looks like we are having a squeeze here and we are possibly going to favor um, the bulls or the bears here. And it looks like overall, based on the decrease in buy volume and the white shaded lines coming out and the beginning of the sell volume coming out here on this very small red line, as you can see, um, we are going to start to create some sell volume coming in. So um, essentially, based on the market recently and based on the conditions, we do see a possible sell off. And in my opinion, we will test this low, probably bounce off of it and then come down and possibly go down to our next breakout point that we saw around 306. So BNGO, again, it's another company I do like, like NNDM, CTRM, um, companies like these that I do like. But again, I'm going to wait to trade these. I'm going to make sure we get confirmation on the volume, let the buy pressure come in, and make sure we don't have any squeezes going downward as well. Um, so again, ZOM uh, is another one. Trufoma was expected when we were running up to around $3. We were hoping to break above 301. Um, and we did not, we did get rejected because they did not get the true film news. So I do believe based on that, that a lot of investors have lost confidence. I do like ZOM as a company overall, but they did um, get very bad news. And if you guys remember ZOM last year, they were sitting around 20 to 30 cents. Um, so I would definitely be careful because I know this stock definitely likes to be held down as multiple times. I remember people trying to trade this before the true film news actually came out. 
or potentially came out. And I know a lot of people were wondering um, if it was actually going to go to zero dollars at some point. So ZOM, I definitely would be careful with. I definitely would wait for more news to come out on this one, in my opinion. Um, it's not exactly a company that I necessarily believe in, as it is more so a company I would be waiting for news on now. EARS, um, we have been talking about the last couple of days. They do have news that they are going to have a business update on Tuesday. So I am essentially going to day trade this one going into Monday if it does continue to break out. Now, we did sit around 5.06 after hours uh, going into yesterday. So we could potentially see a nice breakout. But like I said, we did get rejected multiple times in this area. So I would potentially see a rejection going into around 5.50. If it did break above $5 going into open, I would not have a nice day trade, in my opinion, going to 5.50. But however, like I said, only if it runs up going into Monday, going into the news on Tuesday, I will be day trading this one because, in my opinion, there's going to be a lot of FOMO, a lot of people buying in, and it's possibly going to have a nice run up um, going into Monday. But that's only if and only that uh, the FOMO does come in, in my opinion. We're going to wait for that confirmation as an uptrend versus just buy into in the morning and letting it play out that way. I'm definitely going to wait for the uptrend on EARS. So um, we are going to look at AMC. I know AMC has been one of the most talked about stocks recently as uh, states are opening up. But however, is it does it have too much hype to actually uh, give it give us the uptrend that we want when we previously were at twenty dollars? So, um, in my opinion, it's not exactly the entry point that I would like. Um, but however, if I was in this stock, I definitely would have a stop loss around um, nine thirty eight, as this was where we previously broke down to. It looks like we are creating lower highs and possibly even lower lows. So, if this does drop below uh, nine thirty eight, in my opinion, we could possibly see a retesting around this area where we consolidated previously around five ninety nine. So. Um, AMC, definitely be careful on this one. But however, if it does break above 1234 and it does give us that volume confirmation like it has previously multiple times, um, then essentially we would want to break above our previous volume point here. So AMC will be on the watch as well. Now, GME is very sympathetic to AMC. A lot of times when AMC moves, GME moves. And when GME moves, AMC moves. So it does look very similar as you can see on the chart. Obviously, it's not the same company. Um, but it is very similar on the chart. And you can see it almost has a very similar outcome where it's curling down and creating lower lows. And we are going to try to hold above 117. If we can't hold above 117, then we will be testing this consolidated point, just like we saw almost on AMC, um, going down to around $51. So definitely be careful on GME. But if we do break above um, our, our highs here around uh, 278, then I will be alerted. So that way we can see if we did get our volume confirmation over here. So again, we would want to break above our previous volume point, at least at this point, if we want to get to this price that we were at previously, right? Um, logically, that's exactly what we'd want for a nice day trade or a swing trade into a, a GME. So um, again, I do not exactly, it's not exactly my cup of tea to be trading AMC and GME, but when they do break out, I definitely do trade them um, real quick in and out just to get a nice profit on them. But other than that, um, I definitely don't go into AMC and GME too much. But again, this is not a recommendation for anything I've mentioned. This is what I'll be doing. And I hope you guys enjoyed our breakfast with bulls. We will be going over a Sunday night countdown tomorrow on our top. I don't know how many stocks it'll be, but on our top weekly watch list on stocks that we will be looking out for. And again, much love to you guys. If you have a watch list, throw in the comment section, anything on your mind, throw in the comment section. Again, God bless you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.